what is up guys this is do work from one hive uh, 2.0 slash one hive invicta uh, back with another hog rider series uh, today I'm with uh, a clan called the ready clips uh, overall the, the, I want to take a minute here I know it's been uh, it's been a little over a week since I've been able to post the last hog rider uh, but I do that because when I'm out here I, I get uh, probably somewhere between 15, 10 to 15 requests a day to come visit a clan. Um, and they sign up on our, on our, um, on our website, uh, and I get the email directly to me. Um, and when I go, when I go to these clans, uh, I, I like to scout, I like to scout them out, really. Uh, I like to see what they're about. I like to see their clan atmosphere. Uh, one thing I do not want to do, slash, don't like doing uh, I don't want to promote crap to you guys uh, what I want to do is I want to show you guys these good clans that that have a healthy environment that uh, they have a, a large support system and they genuinely care about each other uh, and unfortunately there's been uh, a couple clans that don't provide that um, so and when I do visit you guys uh, I like to spend at least, you know, at a minimum two, three days uh, with you. Whether you're about to go into a prep day, whether you're in a prep day, whether you're in a war, I'll stay around for another one. Uh, because I'm not just there to do your videos. Uh, I'm there to provide any any type of support that I can for you. I'm there to uh, answer questions that you may have, how, uh, how one hive does, handles business, uh, how they plan attacks, they coordinate. Uh, I'm there for the whole deal. So, I mean, if you guys have any questions uh, throughout that time, you know, I'm there until we're both satisfied and we're both happy. Uh, it's not just a, you know, uh, I'm going to come drop by, record some videos, and leave. Uh, that doesn't really do you any good. That's no fun for me. Uh, so it takes a while. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I apologize for, for it taking so long to get another video out to you. Uh, but like I said, I do want to give you guys a uh, quality video of clans, uh, clans that will, uh, you know, ultimately they'll, they'll be a forever clan that you want to stay with. Um, so it is a timely manner. Uh, so please bear with me on that. But, uh, the upside to that is that it is quality. Um, so with that said, I will jump right into, uh, the ready clips. Uh, these guys, I did have to take, I've been with these guys for about five days now. I had to take a little, uh, uh I had a family emergency I had to, uh, kind of tend to, uh, it just kind of took a little while longer than I expected. So, uh, I'm just now getting to them. Uh, but these guys, uh, just like I said, these guys are, are very active. They, uh, are very supportive to each other. Um, they are a level four clan right now, uh, but I mean they're about to hit level five. They're still relatively new, um, but I, th I think right now there are thirty-eight, and I think they only have two losses altogether. Uh, so they know what to do. You know they've been studying the videos, not just one hive. You know I I've heard them chatting about, you know, uh, like uh, power bangs videos, Gotti's videos. Uh, so, I mean, they, they get their fingers into everything, and, and they're watching everything. They're watching the tutorials. They they help each other out with base building. Um, but they are kind of new. There's a lot of Town Hall 8s. Um, and, I, I mean, that, that's perfectly okay. Uh, but One Hive Genesis is, uh, that was founded on all One Hive, all Town Hall 8s getting ready to go to Town Hall 9. Um and, and that's exactly what these guys are doing, and, and they're a monster at it. You know, they're, they're eights consistently three-star, uh, all their eights. I don't think they've ever left a Town Hall 8 open. Uh, here and there, they'll leave some nines open. Uh, and, I mean, it's an up-and-coming clan. That's okay. They're still learning. Uh, but they learn with each other. Uh, that, you know, they're all taking uh, lessons learned from their... They're, they're failed attacks, and by failed attacks, I mean non-three stars. Um, like this, I would call this failed attack. It's not a three star, uh, but, I mean, they still beat the base. They still get the XP for it in the overall clan uh, calculation thing right there. Um, so, 
Uh, I will jump. There's 26 minutes left. They have uh, two attacks left in this war, so I'm going to be keeping an eye out. Uh, so hopefully we can catch a live attack. Uh, and they have no idea. Uh, but uh, there are a couple replays that I wanted to go over. And the first one I wanted to go over was a Max Attack Goho uh, from their number two, Philly. Um, we had a guy over at Invicta. Uh, he just got promoted up to uh, 2.0. Uh, and his, Adam, uh, this guy was the king uh, at Max Attacks. He just... Uh, I think I've seen him just beast like three or four bases so far with uh, a max hog attack. Uh, and I'm, it deserves its respect. You, you're hogging a base with absolutely no heals. So that in and of itself is something. Uh, and um, the max attack is you, you're you taking as much of the base out as you can uh, with, with essentially, uh, the, the, you're not going in with... Uh, an actual uh, um, brain fart now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm watching the attack. But uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway, I mean, the, the max attack is not an easy attack to master. Uh, it's 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 a very difficult, it takes a uh, little bit of practice. Uh, but I mean, uh, Philly comes in here and, and he wrecks this base with it. He does a phenomenal job. Uh, at this point, I think he, he saved one heal. Uh, maybe for his hogs, uh, he didn't need it for his kill squad. His kill squad is still up and standing. Uh, and I think he actually, he's left over with a swag heal here. Uh, so, uh, he, um, he did a great job killing this base, just coming in from the kill squad from, kill squad from the 12, uh, and coming in completely surrounding that base with hogs to meet in the middle. Um, so I will 2x this so you guys can see the three. Uh, but great job, Philly. And there we go. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, I still haven't had the other attack. Either one. 23 minutes. They're cutting it pretty close. Uh, the other attack, uh, the other replay I wanted to show you. Uh, no, that one wasn't it. Uh, where is he? Bull blade right here. Um, this is the guy that originally requested me to come visit. Uh, guy's name is Bo uh, Bold Blood. Uh, I've been, you know, I've been chatting with him on uh, GroupMe for a while. Uh, and this guy is dedicated. Uh, probably one of the most dedicated that I've seen. He is very uh, interested in evolving Ready Clips. Um, he's very proactive with with passing out the information to them with helping them teach with with giving them the resources and the tools they need uh, to better themselves and to better their attacks and to get that three star uh, he he's still a somewhat relatively new town hall nine uh, but for, I mean d to me it would look like this is his alt account like he has a max town hall nine somewhere uh, I mean on this attack right here he has both heroes walk on him uh, his king and queen are up there. Uh, they're wrapping around, which is always a that's a bad sign when you're in the middle of a go ho uh, when your when your heroes walk. Uh, but he keeps his cool. Uh, he keeps his composure, uh, and he just readjusts. You know that the most important thing you can do when something goes wrong on an attack, uh, and th on this attack right here, that's exactly what he does. Uh, and I mean, he comes in here and he wrecks this base, uh, and he just does a phenomenal job of it. And since I've been here, I think this is the third war. Uh, I mean, he's just, uh, I think this is his third consecutive six-star war as well. Uh, so, I mean, he's just wrecking it with these guys. Uh, so, you know, great job to Bold. Notice how, uh, how he has his, his cleanup troops down there, too. He, he dropped those guys a, a while ago. Uh, probably about 20 seconds ago um, and um, it, it, it's so important we stress that all the time uh, to get your cleanup troops down quick uh, I mean he was a little bit slow on it uh, he could have dropped those guys way sooner uh, but I mean that's just 
picking on the little details here. He was still able to pull off the three, uh, but it is those little things that can sometimes hurt you and, you know, uh, keep you from getting that three. Um, but, I mean, he did a great job, you know, keeping his composure and recovering from the queen walk. Looks like we have uh, defense right now. Uh, I'm hoping these guys come in soon. Uh, I want to be able to get you guys a live replay, oh, a live attack here. But uh, I will hopefully check. Uh, I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch one of these guys. Let's see. There's two separate ones. There's a co-leader, which, um, I, you know, I, I couldn't see him uh, missing an attack here. Or this Yab, y your boy Bapper. Bap. I'm sorry if I'm messing that up, but uh, he's been here for a while, too. That's another good guy over there. Uh, but uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at one more replay. Uh, if I can catch a live attack when I'm done, uh, I will jump right into that as soon as I can. Another good, uh, a healthy promoter here, Edge. Uh, he is Town Hall 8 right now, but he is a very good Town Hall 8. He's another one of those uh, of those guys where three seconds into the attack and you know it's a three star. Uh, I've been watching his attacks. I've been He's been helping other people playing. He's been just his ideas, his input. Uh, very conducive to the clan environment here. Um, so, I, just, I mean, just the whole team here is actually pretty great. Um, and, I mean, they're still new. They're still up and coming. But uh, uh, he's coming in here with just a straight uh, hog attack. Uh, he just he uses a one hog lure, um, pull, pulls it out, anchors down on that army camp out in the middle of the reach from, uh, from any of those defenses. And um, once that once that dragon's down, it's just I mean it's easy going from here. He just uh, he he goes a little kind of surgical Asian wall kind of thing with this. Um, he kind of does it for he takes it from two angles, but uh, he does it smartly to try and avoid too many hogs being taken out by possible double giant bombs. Um, um, but I mean overall, I mean look how quick is he has. One, two, he still has 11 hogs left for one, but four, four defenses left uh, with two heals left. I mean, I don't even think he needed either one of these. Uh, he could have got away without using either one of those heals. Uh, but, I mean, he go ahead, he, you know, he, he uses it. Um, he was a little slow on those cleanups, but again, that's, you know, uh, that, that's just nitpicking right there. Uh, it, it would have been it would have been quicker three star if he got him down as soon as he was laying those hogs down, uh, but he did not need it, uh, as you can tell. I mean, he absolutely crushed his base, uh, and he still has a swag heal. Uh, I can't remember if he drops it. I don't think he drops it here. Uh, I think he just you know, saves it for the bank for another attack. Uh, but um, absolutely crushed it. Uh, so great job, Edge. And it doesn't look like. I'm going to be able to catch a live attack. Uh, dang, I, I wish I, I really wish I could have got you guys one. I was hoping they were they jump on by now. But uh, again, uh, you know, I, you know, I apologize for it taking so long to get this out to you guys. But you know, w one of the things uh, one hive stresses is excellence, uh, and I will not. Uh, I will not, get, you know, promote or uh, advertise some crap clan, some some clan full of guys that uh, that are arrogant or a, a, any nonsense really. Um, what I want to, you know, what I want to give to you uh, is a quality product of quality clans. So it may take a little bit longer, uh, and I hope you're willing to deal with that. But uh, it will be a, a better quality uh, that you'll be getting here. Uh, so if you, you know, if you ever do manage to get into one of these clans, um, or you're looking for a clan, just know that the ones that you see on our channel that we're promoting, um, they are the real deal and we will not, we, we can sniff it out. We, you know, we've been through the ringer time or two, so we can, it's easy for, it's easy to read. Uh, so the clans that you see here, uh, they are good clans. 
Um, you know, some people may have fallen out with them, but, you know, th that happens. So, uh, if you are looking for a clan, I know these guys are, oh, sorry. Uh, I know these guys are looking to recruit and, uh, get more people. Uh, they do have, uh, I believe they're starting up a, uh, recruiter clan. I don't remember the name of it or if they, uh, if they were going to do that. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, but right now they have eight spots open. I know they just took a bunch of people up. Uh, so, uh, give these guys a look. Um, very good team here. Uh, there is their, their clan tag if you're looking for it. Uh, I'll let you look at their war log again. As you can see, uh, a lot of green again. Uh, so, I mean, these guys, they put the effort and the time into it, and it's obviously paying off for them. Uh, so, uh, that's it. Oop, oop, we got a lot of... Oh, dang. Missed it. Uh, let's see how he's doing. Oh, there's the other guy, too. Uh, he needs to get his, his attack in. Let him know we're going live. Hopefully the other guy gets his attack in. <clears throat> There's Ivan right there, the other guy that needs to attack. So hopefully when he's done, we will be able to get a live attack in here. It's been a while since I've been on, so... I tried to keep it quiet. Try and keep it quiet so they couldn't see. They wouldn't know. Oh, try and get that live attack in for you. Mm, doesn't look like he may. Looks like he may not get it from the thing from the looks of that comment right there. So when he's done, I'm assuming Ivan will go in, uh, and we'll see if we can get a live one on this. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to be able to pull off the three. I swear, when you're sitting here watching these swords swing back and forth, it feels like it's taken 20 minutes. But, uh... Uh, yeah, these guys are these guys are striving. They their goal is to be able to clear them all. So let's give uh, oh, oh, let's give them. There we go. Let me see if Ivan's going in. What they fell on him? Hmm. All right. Well, uh, he is about to go back in uh, here in a couple minutes, so I will take a quick break, uh, and hopefully, uh, I will pick him up in time to be able to record it live for you guys. All right, guys, I am back. <clears throat> we have about uh, 30 seconds left in the war. Uh, Ivan was just on a minute. There he goes. Uh, and we are live now. As you can see, he was driving people crazy. Uh, so what does he have? He looks like he's going uh, Shattered, uh, shattered Goho. Uh, let's see. Uh, one Hog Lore. All right, down goes the poison. Uh, then it should be done. I've noticed that a lot with these guys. They're they're very smart. Uh, they they only need about uh, three wizards and maybe three or four barbs, uh, and they can take out the whole uh, clan castle troops that way. It's it's kind of old school. Uh, in that manner, so I thought, you know, I thought that was actually pretty cool, uh, but, 
Looks like his wall bus are split, but they're level 8 walls, so that's okay. Uh, Golem got in there. Uh, let's see. Down goes the Archer Queen. He's got his jump down early. Uh, what's going on? Let's start these hogs soon. There he goes. Uh, starting from down at around the 8 o'clock position. Uh, he's got no more tanking left for his queen. He's going to have to rage her. Ah, uh, missed it. Uh, so don't know. I don't know if he has enough in it. Uh, let's see. Dang. Nope. I don't think he's going to have enough in him to pull it off. It's just going to run out of juice. Dang. Well, he tried, but uh, it looked like uh, it looked like his kill squad died off actually really quick. Uh, we'll have to watch the replay on that one to see what exactly happened. But uh, he got the fifty percent, so uh, with their win, you know, at least he'll get the bonus for it. But uh, no three star for Ivan. So let's see. Let's back out. War stuck at zero until he's done. Oop, I think I, said, I spelled his name wrong there too. I spelled it L I. All right, he's still going. So they did just win uh, another win to the you know the, the green log. So uh, all right, there it is. Let's see if we can use. I think you went after six. That's right. Let's see what happened here. Uh, looks like uh, we'll four x this. Get past the the CC kill. There we go, let's slow this down. So, that was a, uh, ooh, that hurt right there. That was too wide of a split on those golems. Uh, golems have to be within, uh, a, over a seven, you know, a seven square, a seven tile uh, distance. Otherwise, they're going to see it, and they're just, they're going to get pulled. So, it looks like that was his main problem there. That I mean, he pretty much went in this cold-blooded, uh, that other golem is already down, uh, and they've only gotten uh, just a very small percentage down. He missed his king ability, uh, and he, wow, okay, so he missed both abilities. Uh, ouch. And he had his, uh, his golem uh, walk on him over there or the, to the 12 o'clock position, so um, maybe try moving that over a little bit more. Uh, I mean... Keep in mind, you know, eight squares away, you're you're good. The golem will not reroute. Uh, seven tiles away, uh, your golem uh, will reroute. He will get distracted. But uh, overall, good job, buddy. That was that was a great try. Uh, so uh, that is ready. Clips. Uh, please give him a look. Please give him a shout. Uh, nothing but good things to say about these guys. Great job. Great team effort here. And uh, thanks for watching, fellas. Don't forget to sign up.